Hi, this is Jan at Jantastic Studios, and I'm going to show you today how to iron a nap paper napkin onto a surface like a, a Christmas card. Now, the napkins are like three ply, so I've just pulled off one ply, and it looks like it's ready to glue, but it's not. You've got to get that second layer off. And it's, and it's really difficult to get it to separate. But once you figure out how to get it separated, like get a corner work loose, it's not too bad. But it's just getting that, finding that little edge that will release the paper. And as you see, I'm not having much luck here. Finding a corner, sometimes ironing it a bit will help it separate. I think it's kind of important to see these things because I don't want you getting frustrated when you try it because you can't get it to work instantaneously. There it goes. Okay, so and, and as I said, it'll look on the package of the napkins and it'll tell you how many ply it is. That way you know how many pieces you have to take apart. So there's the two plies over there and here's my third ply right here which is where the artwork is. Now your saran wrap has to be larger than the area. One of the reasons why is the saran wrap will shrink as it heats like shrink wrap. So I want to place this. I want some of this really pretty border here and I'm going to place this right at the top edge of my Christmas card and I want that I do want I do want a bit of that ribbon in there so I'm gonna move this over as much of that ribbon as I can get and still get a border the bottom of the card the tree goes past the bottom of the card but that's okay it's just gonna have to have to be that way because that's the size of the card I'm using but I've got the idea and what I want in there I'm aligning it again to the top of the card to make sure everything's aligned correctly. Then you place a piece of paper. Now, I tried heavier cardstock at one point, thinking, oh, I'll do that because it'll be easier to pick up and down. No, the heat, there's not enough heat going through the, the cardstock to work. So you need to use just like typing paper. Be aware you're going to probably scorch it, so this piece of paper is going to go away. Now, this is laying on top where none of the saran wrap is peeking out from underneath the paper, so I'm not going to get the saran wrap on my iron. Of course, you should use an iron that's for crafting. Right, like we all have nine irons laying around. Not. So I just use my regular iron. As you can see by the scratches on the surface of the iron, it's done other things besides iron clothes. In fact, I very rarely iron clothes ever. So now I've got it on the highest setting and dry. You don't want steam, you want dry. And then you're just going to apply the heat from the iron onto the card. How much heat? Well, that's kind of iffy, depending on the iron and depending on the paper and the surface you're using. You want to just get it as hot as you can without burning it, basically. And like I said, you'll probably scorch it eventually because you're going to want to get enough stickum from the saran wrap to get all the edges sealed. So now my iron has done the flashing thing where, uh, you've had your iron down too long, duh. And so I have to lift it up to put it back down again. I want to make sure I get these corners done really, really good so that I have all the glue I need under these corners. Again, holding the iron down as long as I, I can hear. I know you can't, but I can you see it scorched right there, but I can, I can hear the plastic crinkling underneath it now uh, you see I got scorch marks there okay so now we're going to do our first check and you also can smell just a bit of it okay so see okay that didn't stick down there you could see it coming up with it we'll lift it from this side okay now it's, you see how the edge is coming up just a little bit there it's coming up there it's not coming up there it's coming up there so I need to get those three corners done. Giving it a little more heat. Try 
trying to get those corner edges just really sealed tight. It's not a perfect art. It's not like as if you're using Elmer's glue. The only problem with using Elmer's glue or a glue to stick this down, you end up with a really hard surface. That looks like that stuck. That looks like that stuck. That stuck, that stuck. Okay, turn my iron off. And then the next thing is you're going to trim around the edges. Now, when I did the envelope, which you saw, I'm sure you saw on my Facebook page, when I did the envelope, I did the whole envelope with the, with the flap closed. Then I went back with an X-Acto knife blade and cut the slit where the flap met the card and it worked perfectly absolutely perfectly okay so now I'm going to let's see if it worked oh, I got a little bit of an edge there let's see if I can peel it off from over here here we go And when I I gotta trim the top edge of my card here, the plastic. This is the melted saran wrap, basically, you're getting off of there. And I saw where this edge is see is coming up just a tad. So I'm gonna lay the paper back down over here. And even though the iron's off, it's still got enough heat, probably, to seal that little edge there. Again, I think it's important for you to see that not everything... There you go now, the edge is sealed. It's important to see that not everything is perfect and it doesn't always work perfect every time. You've got to work with it and play with it. Nobody's perfect. Okay, so, okay, now you see the card is bent up a bit. You can just make sure that all the saran wrap's off. Then it really irritates me when cards don't fold correctly. So make sure your card is folded correctly, and then you can take that still warm iron, iron the fold, kind of like a bone folder, and then kind of hold it down a little bit while it cools. Once it cools, there's your card. Now, is that gorgeous or what? Awesome. Thanks for watching.